I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to simplify radical expressions. I have taken in the form of fractions two examples to understand the concepts. The first one is 10 divided by square root of 50 and then we have square root of 6 divided by 2 over square root of 6. Let us begin with the first one which is 10 divided by square root of 50. We can write this as 10 divided by square root of 50 can be written as 25 times 2. The idea is to write the number as factors which have perfect square. So 25 is a perfect square. Now I could write this as 10 over 25 is 5 square. So I could write this as 5 square root 2, correct? 5 square root 2. Now this could be simplified. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we could write this as 2 over square root 2. Now normally we do not leave the radical part in the denominator. So it's always a good idea to rationalize at this stage and ensure that we do not have two square root term in the denominator, right? So from here, we can actually go about two ways. One is, think as if two could be written as square root two times square root two. That is also two, right? And divided by square root of two will give you what? You can cancel these and get square root 2, right? So that is one way you can write down your answer. Say this is equals to square root of 2. The other way is to rationalize. So what we can do is we have 2 square root 2. We can multiply and divide by square root 2, okay? So we multiply and divide by square root. So that gives us 2 square root 2 in the numerator and square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. And now we can cancel 2's to get the answer, which is equal to square root 2, right? So either way, we get the same answer. You could adopt any of these methods to simplify it at this stage, right? So I hope that helps. The second one here is layer of fractions. Now let us see how to solve this. So basically, you could think about reading this as square root of 6 we are dividing by 2 over square root 6 is it okay square root of 6 divided by 2 over square root 6 this is like fraction over fraction think like this okay now i hope it is clear which you could write as let me change the ink square root of 6 times when you do times you can flip it it becomes square root of 6 over 2 correct now square root 6 times square root 6 is square root 36 you could write this as square root of 36 over 2 right or you would also write straight square root 6 times square root 6 is equals to 6 right 6 over 2 either way if you write 36 square root, then square root of 36 is 6. You get to the same stage, right? Now you can simplify. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So our answer is this is equal to 3, right? I'd like you to go through these steps and understand how we can simplify radicals in different ways. I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you. And... All the best.